Tonight we're going to do a special type of meditation, special in parenthesis. And then if you do not have your principal guide already, you will receive your principal guide today. Okay. Hello, hi everyone. Okay. So we're going to use the breath since we don't have ayahuasca with us or San Pedro, we're going to use the breath. With the breath, we can go into non-ordinary states of consciousness, as you most probably know. So having said that, we're going to breathe in and fill our bodies with different types of energy. Okay. We're going to start with divine peace. So please be seated, get comfortable, uh, ground yourselves, to Mother Earth. If you don't, do not know how to ground yourself, just imagine that your nervous system is spreading down, all the way down through the root chakra and your feet down to the core of Mother Earth. And just balance your left and right side. And like they say, basically, what you want to do is calm, focus, and ground. You want to settle your mud. Okay, so all emotions, thoughts, just have them calm down, settle down, and ground yourselves in Mother Earth. All right. So, like I said, we're going to breathe in different energy. So please uh, keep your minds open. The imaginal is the doorway to the spirit world. Shamanic practitioners have one foot in this world and one foot in the spiritual world. So having said that, I'd like you to close your eyes and keep your eyes closed until the end. And your intent, there's always an intent in shamanism. Your intent here is to first breathe in divine peace. So eternal life brings eternal peace, right? So you're going to breathe in 10 times, in the nose, out the mouth, if you want. You can do it. There is no wrong or right way to do this, by the way. Just allow yourself to relax. And your intent would be, as I guide you, to breathe in different energies. The first energy, again, is peace. So having said that, keep your eyes closed and just breathe in 10 times. Now, if you, if you know how to breathe in from the stomach, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just a matter of practice, practice and practice. Okay? So at the count of one, I'm going to ask you to breathe in 10 times. Make it deep and slow. So it'll be like this. In general, there's no pausing between the in-breath and out-breath, between the inhale and the exhale. If you can do that, it'd be wonderful. If you cannot, again, that's fine. So at the count of one, your intent is to breathe in and fill your body with divine peace. Okay. Three, two, one, breathe in. just connect with the vibrations. You might feel vibrations in your hands, your face, anywhere in your body, you might hear them. These vibrations are the aliveness of your cells. It's what gives your body life. So now out of the mind and just feel the peaceful vibration.
Okay, if you have connected with the vibration, these vibrations, some people call it uh, prana, chi, chai, just call it your spirit. It's what gives your body life and your spirit or your higher self, your full potential self has many high frequency energies. It could be peace, love, uh, nobility, joy, etc. We'll get to those later. What I'm asking you to do is to connect with your higher self in this manner. Okay. So out of the head again, just feel the peaceful vibrations. Be peace no matter what. Now back to breath, this time we're going to breathe in spiritual strength. The strength is a feminine strength. It's about the capacity to let go of what no longer serves us, be it fear, anger, guilt, attachments, whatever. So at the count of one, breathe in 10 times, spiritual strength, bring it in your body and allow it to radiate outwards as it expands. Three, two, one, go. Connect with the vibration. These are strong vibrations, spiritually strong. Get out of the head, no thinking, just feel the strong spiritual vibes. Be strong now.
back to breath at the count of one. This time the intent is to breathe in awareness, consciousness, divine awareness. So just like we did before at the count of one, just breathe in 10 times with the intent to fill your body with divine awareness. And as it fills your body, just allow it to expand outward. No thinking after that, just feel the vibes, feel the divine aware vibe. Three, two, one. Okay, keep breathing if you want. We are too aware not to know who we really are. In other words, we are spiritual beings first and foremost, living in this duality. To remember, re-member with God, to remember and manifest our divinity here and now. Now, get out of the head, just feel the conscious vibe. Be aware now.
Okay, now back to breath, at the count of one. This time we are going to breathe in divine joy. When you're connected to your higher self, you don't need a reason to be joyful. You just are. So at the count of one, we'll breathe in 10 times, divine joy, just fill in your body with divine joy. Allow it to expand. We are too joyful to permit presence of inner trouble, any sort of trouble. It may come from outside, it's inside. We are always in control of our inner world. So, three, two, one, breathe in, joy. Keep breathing, put a twinkle in your eye and an intelligent smile on your face. Breathe in. Okay, connect with the joyful vibes, no thinking, just feeling, feel the joyful vibes. breath at the count of one. This time the intent is to breathe in pure divine love. 
divine love. Ten times, breathe it in, fill your body, allow it to expand outward. Three, two, one. Just remember, we are loved unconditionally, just like a loving mother loves her baby unconditionally. So are we, no matter what you think you've done or not done. So go ahead now, feel the vibes, no thinking out of the head. Feel the loving vibration. Be love now. you know you're loved unconditionally or how would you respond how would you walk what would your attitude be if you knew absolutely unconditionally that you were loved 
from a spiritual point of view, you are, we are too loved for any unnecessary emotional pain once you're connected with your higher self. All right. So let's do the same thing now and just bring in love. At the count of one, breathe it in. And this time, it's about not about being loved so much as it is about being loving and kind to others and to ourselves, of course, first and foremost. So just breathe in love at the count of one. And I'll guide you a little bit. But feel the vibes, loving vibes first. Three, two, one. Connect with the vibes. Just feel the loving vibrations. Be loved now. Now, when we're connected like this and we are kind and loving to others and to ourselves, there is no real failure. And we 
spiritual sense of course. There is no failure anyway, but what I meant is we are connected. So it brings to mind forgiveness. Forgive others, forgive yourself. Clear that karma. All right. So one more time, I want to ask you to breathe five times. This time I'd like you to connect with your inner child, the little boy, little girl in you. You can take them to the park, you can take them eat ice cream on a bicycle, you can go to the movies, draw a picture, see what they want. Be the parent of that little one, the father and mother. So before that, just breathe in love five times. Vibe, connect with the little one, spend some time with the little one. You can connect with your inner child anytime you want. Your inner child represents your emotions, fear, anger, guilt, stress, sadness, loneliness, boredom, frustration, depression. Parent your little child, get in touch with her or him. 
maybe once, twice, three times per day. Promise and make the deal with your inner child to be there for him, for her, if you want to do this practice. And uh, in the meantime, put her or him back in your heart and connect with her or him anytime you want. So this time the intent is to breathe in nobility. So to me, nobility is a combination of love and strength. Just like the king, the knight circus king or queen, a lot of us are light workers serving humanity right now. So having said that, let's breathe in nobility at the count of one, 10 times. Three, two, one. We are too noble to lower our standards, our personal standards, not society's standards or anybody else's standards, our values. So go ahead and feel the noble vibrations, no thinking, just feel the noble vibrations. Be noble now. Let's dig in and into our memories of the past and remember a time or times where we were not so noble and rewrite history. In other words, look at the scene, 
sense it, feel it, imagine it. But this time, you are completely noble in that situation. So let's say you were stressed, you reacted. Go ahead and rewrite history and respond instead of react by being, feeling the vibe of nobility now. Okay, I suppose I could spend days on this one. Okay, let's go back to breath. This time, I'm going to ask you to breathe in divine, divine vibes. Fill your body and allow it to expand into the room, the city, the country, the seas, the skies, the continents, other worlds universe, just allow it to expand just by using your intent, no pushing, no pushing the river, it'll happen, prana is everywhere, creative force is everywhere, god, goddess is everywhere, so at the count of one, just breathe it in, and we're going to use the imagination, I want you to imagine you're in a room, and I'll guide you from there, so you can get your principal guide, is a helper of force, the helper of God, goddess. And we'll consider this principle guide as part of the family. I'll guide you. No worries. Just be cool about it, loose, limp, and relaxed. Relaxed, yet alert. There is no wrong way or right way to do it. Three, two, one. Breathe in the divine. connect with the divine vibration. Imagine you're in your psychic chamber. There's a huge blank space in front of you. A big, huge movie screen. It's 
light. In your ears, you have earphones, little speakers. And if you're sitting on something that will be, that will be the element of feeling, you might feel, sense something, just like you might see, imagine something, or hear something. I want you to look in front of you, upwards a little bit on that blank screen, and receive your principal guide. It could be uh, anything. You don't have to see it, you can feel it, sense it. And just allow it to come in. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. You can chat with me or just talk to me on screen and uh, let me know what has happened, please. Gently come back, wiggle your toes, open your eyes. And let's chat a little bit or just uh, talk to me live. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them since we have a couple more minutes. Nisha? Yes, hello. Um... I actually posted um, a question um, um, when I registered online. Um, I just wanted to know a little bit more about how um, shamanic um, healing works and what qualities you look for in a person to become like a shaman. Well, we all have the shaman in us, the full potential self higher self so it's usually a calling but everybody can walk the shamanic practitioner's path and as i said in the before and i've said many times over the years shamans or shamanic practitioners have one foot in the spirit world and one foot here so what we do is we connect with the spirit world we connect with uh, God or source or goddess or universe, whatever name you have, uh, divine creative force. And from there, we get a family of guides, spiritual guides. Mm -hmm. Become, uh, we 
develop and deepen this relationship with the guides. And the guides give us insights, healing energy, knowledge, wisdom. We also journey to the upper world, the underworld and middle world with our guides. And it's really a, an exceptional way to live. It does uh, bring a lot of benefits and a lot of spiritual strength to those who practice the shamanic ways of the heart. So I don't know how I can answer you in more in detail, but if you specify exactly the question, I'll answer you as best I can. Well, um, it's just that um, recently I've been looking into just, you know, where I want to go, what I want to do. And so I've been speaking to a couple of people, one being a psychic and, um, and she said that, you know, I see this, you know, shamanic sort of um, path for you. And then I was doing something called human design, um, where in the human design, it actually like said that, you know, this is what I have. So I was thinking, okay, now I'm getting two messages to look at this and I've really not looked at it before. Um, and so I was just wondering like how, when I have an intention in life just to help others, how this could um, work with me and help others. Well, yes, definitely. Just by changing your own energy, uh, which seems very nice right now, you can help others. We can help others in many different ways, but the, the way I have chosen is to ask the guides for their guidance and help. And I clear the energies or help others find solutions to their problems, be it mm -hmm. mental, physical, financial, energetic. It's all about the energies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, it's a lot about forgiveness and clearing karma because the world is transforming and we're going from the ego-based to the heart-based consciousness. So I would encourage you to take the course uh, because my vibration is telling me that... Uh, now, I think we have a tribe here that's developing, and I think that uh, we can do a lot in a fun way and loving way as well. But you have to feel it. Nobody can answer it for you. What you want to do is just ask those vibrations you breathed in today, your higher self. Just stay with those vibrations after you breathe 10 times deeply and just mm -hmm. feel the vibration. And just send that question out and you will receive an answer. Or what you can do is just write on the, the blank space of your imagination in front of you in your psychic chamber. Should I, is it a good idea for me to pursue the shamanic way? And you'll get it without pushing, gently, slowly, calmly, naturally. Uh, I already have the answer for you, but you, you need to get your, your answers for yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Did anybody connect with their uh, principal guide? Is everybody asleep? Wakey, wakey. So, well, it's been fun for me at least. Hi, yeah. Mark. Hi. Hi, this is Lakshman. Hi, how are you, Lakshman? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for a good session. Okay. Well, I did attend a few uh, shamanic sessions in the past, which are a little different than this one. This one was predominantly. I'm a pranic healer myself. I so I could relate and resonate with a lot that was happening. And... Uh, I sense that apart from this meditation, I believe you were doing some kind of healing. Am I right? Was I doing a healing in the, in the meditation? Yes. Did you feel anything? Yeah, because I was expelling. <laughs> I'm sensitive to energy, so <laughs> I just want to reconfirm that. Yes. Yeah, I was doing yeah, so, so I felt some of things expelling. Yeah, and... Uh, that's well, yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. are you based here in Dubai, Mark? Actually, I'm in France right now. My mother-in-law passed away a couple of days ago. I'm based, I don't know where I'm based anymore. 
I'm in Beirut, I'm in France, uh, hopefully coming to Dubai, where God uh, shows me <laughs> whatever the way or wherever the place, that's where I'll be. Well, we pray that she merges with the light. Yes. Yes, I, uh, I'm with you on this one. God bless. God bless us all. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So thanks, uh, Timo, Himo. Thank you, my friends, and uh, God bless, and talk to you soon. Hopefully, we'll see you in the course soon. God bless. Thank you. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.